All right. Good job. Great job once again. Uh, yeah, the new setup works perfectly fine. So all good there. So now that we are, or that you got all that picking stuff squared away with the 8th notes and 16ths, as you see, well, we're going to mix it up a lot. So every bar is different. So definitely much more challenging this time, but I think you're ready for it. And yeah, let's get into it. 60 beats per minute using a harmonic minor scale, or he's basing it off of one. A harmonic minor. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one, and two, and a three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, and four, and one, and a two, and three, and four, and a one, and a two, and three, and a four. videos today all right number two constant 16th notes I'd like to see how you do um, and that was that was one of the things that I remember in your uh, initial video where you're demonstrating stuff and I think 140 with constant eighth or uh, constant 16th was a little off and then 180 wasn't attempted if I'm remembering right I could be wrong I don't have the notes up, so. But yeah, let's see how you do uh, with this. We're doing just two strings. So you can go 
faster because it's much easier to pick crazy fast on two strings versus three. So yeah, let's give this a go. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three. Uh, as far as counting something like this, I would say not necessary to count all the 16s. You can, nothing wrong with that. But especially at faster speeds, you may just want to count the downbeats so you remember which beat you're playing on. Because as you can see, some of the chords last two beats long, others go for one. So anyway, here we go, 60. One, two, three, four. single note stuff to go really fast. So that involves my bending the wrist back a little bit, pivoting on this part of my hand, on the body of the guitar, just a little bit of the string as well. So it's, the wrist is kind of loose, so this way it can pivot, but it's all elbow. It's the elbow that's the driving force. My arm is, is doing all that stuff because it's just too dang fast to be doing that. Now on the slower speeds, sure. It's a bit more kind of like this. My wrist is still kind of bent a little bit, uh, but you can still. on the slower speeds. Obviously, it's a little bit different. Hitting three strings. So there's a little bit of, uh, let's say, picking mechanics that change when you're strumming two strings as fast as you can versus three. But it's very similar strumming two strings as fast as you can uh, compared to one string. At least it certainly is for me. So that's how I'm picking these things when I get as fast as I can, treating it the same as I would single string. But a very, very black metal approach of playing. So all right, I think that covers it all. So any questions, let me know, and I will see you again in your new videos.